Ah, yes. We can use these to find a deeper truth. Dr. Sartre left a gun in a safety deposit box. Its rifling perfectly matches the bullet that killed Rosalia. What this shows is... Yes, Albert Sartre killed Rosalia. Rosalia and Albert lived together like a true family. What happened between them? Oh, Dr. Kimishima, uh, about the recorder. What is it? We were able to reconstruct one of the sound files. Good. Can you tell when the recording was made? Well, it seems to have been recorded after the one I gave you before, but... What's wrong? Did something happen? It's like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Oh, uh, sorry. Anyway, please try listening to the new recording. I've sent it over to you in the file Record 02. All right, I'll make sure I hear it. results are we talking about here? Oh, right. Uh, the one on Albert's bloodstain. Let's see. Traces of saliva were detected in the components of the bloodstain. Saliva? That means... That's right. It means that the blood was from blood Albert had vomited. to be the case. Can you figure something out from that? Well, Albert was infected with viral hemorrhagic fever. This disease causes severe attacks that trigger vomiting of blood. Severe attacks? If that's the case, then he may have been like the other victims we've seen. Yes, just like Veronica Cage and Alma Parker. There's a possibility that the disease undermined his sanity and drove him mad. starting to see the big picture behind what happened here. Hmm, not yet. The most important truth hasn't been uncovered. Hmm. Do you mean the cause of the recent outbreak of this disease? Yes. Albert died of viral hemorrhagic fever two years ago. Rosalia, the host to the virus, was killed even before that. So why would the virus begin spreading now? And how can we stop it? We don't have any answers for these important questions yet. Sheesh. Looks like it's all over then. Well, I really don't have much to regret. No. I can still do this. I'm not going to give up. <sighs> I thought you'd say that. I prepared another voice file. Huh? You... Oh, come on. Did you really think I meant that? Even I have something to live for, you know. Hmm? Anyway, I've transferred the restored recording to you. The file name is Record 03. Give it a listen. <laughs> All right, do you know when this was recorded? Yes, I've listened to it, and it seems to be from before Albert lost his mind. The recorder doesn't have any more files for me to send you. All right, I'll try listening to it. Hmm. Rosalia was found dead in that field of blue flowers. I think I might finally be able to understand why now. experiments from the other day are in. It's a disaster. That virus. 
It's the most vicious and dangerous thing I have ever seen. No matter what attempts I make, nothing can stop their activities. They multiply and devour and destroy everything. How can she still be alive while that monster lives within her? I feel that her blood holds the secret to that. Her blood is the only key to saving all of humanity. I cannot give up. There's nothing more I can do to stall it. One day, this virus will be brought to heal, and I will return to that place, and... Professor Sartre said that Rosalia's blood was the only key. This key that Rosalia had that allowed her to live with the virus was... Yes, it was a glycoprotein called immunoglobulin. In other words, it was an antibody. The Rosalia virus is immensely powerful. The professor tried to extract the antibody in order to suppress and control its activity. <sighs> that was a Pandora's box that should never have been opened. Rosalia's blood was too much of a danger to look into. 